Good evening. In today's gospel, Jesus speaks of the intimate knowledge of the Father and the Son and the desire that his communion be shared with others. Indeed, this is what is given to us in baptism, a share in the divine life of the Trinity. By the grace of the sacrament, we are made more like Christ so that he can work in us and through us to bring forth God's kingdom. Please stand and worship the Lord in song. On this 4th of July weekend, let us begin with America the Beautiful, everyone. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of rain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. O oh, beautiful, for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved, and mercy more than life. America, America, may God thy gold refine, till all success be nobleness, and every gain divine. Good evening. Let's continue with the symbol of God's care. That is in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is with you. We come together this evening and we celebrate the 4th of July. We, as always, celebrate the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. That is a freedom that comes to us knowing that we are loved, that we are forgiven. Before we continue, let's take a moment out, reflect on our lives, and be touched by that forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. And you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And so then, may Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. Bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. 
you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the person of your Son has raised up our world, fill your faithful with a holy joy. For those on whom you have rescued from sin, you bestow eternal gladness. We pray this as we do all things through Christ the Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. you Lord, praise you Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you Lord, praise you Lord, for you have rescued me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will praise you, Lord, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. When I called upon your name, you answered me. You built up strength within me. I will praise you, Lord, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. You will complete what you have done for us. Your kindness, O oh Lord, endures forever. I will praise you, Lord, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I'm reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead 
dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead, will give life to your mortal bodies also, through his Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. says the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May the Lord be with you. This is a reading from His Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. No one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourself, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Alleluia, <clears throat> alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. To men, we're talking about marriage. The first one says, I've discovered that if I am affirming, validating, and demonstrative, it has a very positive effect on our relationship. The second one thinks to himself, that's a really good idea. I should give it a whirl. So he goes home and he says to his wife, honey, you really look beautiful tonight. I'm so grateful for all the sacrifices that you have made for me and for our family. This evening, I want to take you out for a delicious meal. And after dinner, I want to go for a long walk so that we can reconnect. The wife begins to cry. And she says, this has been a terrible day. The dishwasher broke. Janie was called to the principal's office. Johnny broke his arm on the playground and now you come home drunk. <laughs> there are stresses in marriage, and there are stresses in priesthood. There are stresses in jobs, in school, in every dimension of our lives. Not too long ago, I was running along the Monon, and I experienced a stress. Someone ran over me on their bicycle. Stress is an inevitable dimension of each of our lives. What's its origin? Some of you may remember the series, The West Wing. It's the story of Jeb Bartlett, 
a fictitious president of the United States. Jeb Bartlett had a personal secretary by the name of Mrs. Lanningham. One day, Mrs. Lanningham, for the very first time in her life, purchases a new car. And on the day that she purchases that car, she is hit by a drunk driver and is killed. Her funeral is at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. And when the funeral is completed, President Bartlett orders everyone to leave the cathedral. He stands there in the middle of the main aisle, and he begins to blame God, to curse God, and of all things, Latin. And then he reaches in to his coat pocket, and he pulls out a cigarette. He puffs on the cigarette several times, and then he throws it down on the marble floor, and he crushes it with his foot, and he storms out of the cathedral. Later that afternoon, his former secretary appears to him in a dream, and she says to him, Mr. President, you know that God didn't cause me to die. And with reluctance, Jeb Bartlett responds, yes, I do know. Well, the truth is this. God didn't cause Mrs. Wallingham to die. God did not cause COVID-19 or cancer. God does not cause broken hearts, broken dreams, broken relationships. God does not cause us to lose games or to lose jobs. God is not in the business of testing us, of proving us, of teaching us lessons. In recent months, I have had heard several people attempt to theologize COVID-19. Some have contended that it's God sending us this virus to teach us to reconnect with one another, to teach us to slow down, to teach the world to work together, to come to a common vision of conquering the virus. I think that's wrong. God is not in the business of teaching us lessons. God invites us all to learn from the struggles of life, to work through the struggles of life, and to become better people. But God is not in the business of punishing. God is in the business of loving and embracing us in the midst of the struggles, in the midst of the stresses. And those stresses, those struggles are indeed a challenge for all of us. Sometimes we unreasonably blame ourselves. Sometimes we unreasonably blame one another. Sometimes we need to put those stresses into some kind of perspective, some kind of proportionality to the rest of our lives. And sometimes we need to just shake the dust from our feet and move on. And always, always, we need to remember that we are loved and valued by our God. In today's gospel, what we hear is this, that Jesus reminds us that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. What's not immediately evident in the gospel is this. In first century Israel, two oxen always pulled the cart. And I think what Jesus is ultimately saying in the gospel is this. As we journey through life, we need to remember that God journeys with us, that God assists us as we deal with whatever life seems to throw our way. In the early 1960s, Pope John XXIII was the leader of the Catholic tradition. The early 1960s were a time of significant turmoil. The United States and the then Soviet Union were on the brink of nuclear war. At the Vatican Council's, liberals and conservatives were duking it out. And John XXIII had a custom. Every night before he would go to bed, he would say this prayer. Lord, I'm going to bed now. This is your church. You take care of it. Well, to some extent, in the midst of whatever comes our way, we need to make that prayer our own. 
That doesn't mean that we should be passive. It doesn't mean that we're not responsible for the choices that we make. It doesn't mean that we can be less safe air about what's going on in the world. But it does mean this. In the end, we need to make our own. The motto of Alcoholics Anonymous. Let God take care of it. Let go. Let God. As we continue our Eucharist, let's each of us pray that we can do this. Let's remember that God journeys with us. Let's let God take his part in pulling us all to become better, more loving, more gracious people. Stand now and profess the faith that joins us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Virgin Mary. Crucified, died, and was buried. He, on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. For Christians around the world who are suffering from persecution, that they be kept safe from harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That peace may be proclaimed in our country, both within and without, as we celebrate the anniversary of our independence this weekend, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the prosperity of our country may reach the poorest among us so that the burden of poverty may be lightened for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from drug addiction and for their families and loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all of us, that we may come to the assistance of others in need, helping to make their yoke easy and their burden light, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the attention of this Mass, Mary Beth Breedlove, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the needs that rest in the silence of your heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we do know you hear our prayer. And so we come here, we speak to you. Pray you grant these needs if they be for good. They are asked this day as all days through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. As we pray for peace this day, let us sing together Prayer of St. Francis. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. Where there's sadness ever joy. Let's pray now, my sisters and brothers, that these gifts will be pleasing to our loving God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
May the sacrifice dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring us your, our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We pray this through Christ the Lord. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, gracious God. For through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, the Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. We join with angels and saints in proclaiming your glory as we sing. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you hold us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you and one another. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church that is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, all bishops, our clergy, all who minister. Remember as well our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those who mention by name and quiet. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory, all honor is yours, almighty Father, forever, and ever. Amen. 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 So now pray with trust and confidence to our common Father, and let's use the words of Jesus. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil free us lord from all that is evil grant us peace in our time in your mercy keep us free from sin and protect us from worry as we wait in joyful hope for the coming again of our savior jesus who is the christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen lord jesus you said to your disciples you say to us i leave you peace my peace i give you look not on our faults but on our faith and grant us the peace and unity of the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. And let's share with each other now a sign of peace. Thanks very much. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace grant us Behold the Lamb of God, build him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the desert setting all the captives free God's love God's love is flowing like a river like a river flowing out of you and me flowing out into the into the desert setting all the captives free God's healings flowing like a like a river flowing out of you and me flowing out into the into the desert setting all the captives free May God's justice flow like a river Flow out through you and me May it flow out into our sea Set all people free. God's mercy is flowing like a river, flowing out of you and me. Setting all the captives free. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Stand now and conclude our prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we might gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. We pray this through Christ the Lord. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We remember all who served so that this nation might be free. We remember all who gave their lives in air and land and sea. We remember all who died that we might live in liberty while God is marching. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah.
Christ was born across the sea with a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make us holy, let us live to make all free while God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah is true. 